Meantime, we're learning how some security devices installed at Oxford High just a few years ago may have prevented the shooter from taking even more lives. Defender Sean Lay is live with a look at how night lock works and why it's getting praise from the Oakland County Sheriff and some parents. Kimberly, good evening. Just got off the phone with the owner of Nightlock. He's telling me they developed this lock in the wake of the Sandy Hook shooting years back in 2012. The locks now in 300 Michigan schools. The Oxford shooting was the first time the locks were tested in a shooting. The company brought a prototype of the lock right here to the Sheriff's Department and Sheriff Bruchard while it was still in development. Years ago, they came to me and said, we just have a prototype on something like this. Would you would you look at it and give us your feedback? And I did, and I looked at it, and I said, this is amazing. Oakland County Sheriff Michael Bouchard is talking about a door lock from Mount Morris Company, Night Lock. It's called Night Lock. Here's what it looks like. Michigan law requires schools to have extra locks on doors. Four years ago, Oxford High School installed night locks on every door. After last week's shooting, Sheriff Bouchard looked at every door to every classroom. All of the classrooms, all of those were flipped down. You know, they had gone into lockdown and utilized those. If you were looking in the classroom, they would have a little box right by the door, and you just pull that down, it's got the thing, and it slides right in, and that you can't open that door. Listen to the emotion in the voice of an Oxford parent telling Nightlock owner Joe Taylor the locks kept the shooter from getting to their kids. I hope you know that what you do saved so many kids. It's just overwhelming uh, with the feeling we get um, knowing that we saved the lives. Sheriff Bouchard has watched the security camera footage. When the lockdown was called, he says training for students and staff kicked in. Locks were put in place, barricades stopping shots meant to kill. One shot landing in an unreal place. That round is in the garbage can and wasn't able to hurt anybody. It's almost a metaphor for that round for me that this process worked. Back here live, other school districts now, of course, reviewing safety and security policies. Right now, we're learning from Lake Orion High School. In the wake of the shooting, they're going to go to clear backpack starting next week when their 2,200 students come back to that large high school, telling us today, instead of eliminating backpacks, we're moving toward the clear version because students need items to continue their quality education. We looked up clear Act backpacks on Amazon, available there for parents. The school is collecting clear backpacks for students who are in need. Live tonight, Sean Light, Local 4, back to you. Valuable information, Sean, thank you.